What up, y'all? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft that has not fired yet. Okay, well, by the time I finished that sentence, it had. But, like, we were just sitting there, and I want to take Mind Twist. I like twisting the minds. Oh, man, now I want to go to Best Buy and pick up my, 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 my order. Oh, Brian Carnston? That's one of my favorite actors. I'm going to take Mind Twist. What did I get a Best Buy? I got a uh, RTX 3080. Courtesy of NVIDIA. All right, so we we started with a mind twist. Is that like a C three PO? Yeah, it's very similar. Basically the same thing. I like time warp. <clears throat> I like time spiral. I like Thran. And I like hoof. Easy yog will. <laughs> I hate you. That's not true. I don't hate you. I think you're great. Just great. <sighs> I don't want a crater hoof again, but it's so good, dude. I can be difficult. <laughs> Standard B, you are a good dude, man. I'm going to take Time Spiral here. I'm going to take Time Twister here. Oh, wow. Narset Leovold, come on, we'll have to do it one time, right? This pack's not even super exciting, so I don't feel bad about passing anything. Oh, oh, oh my god. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. Narset. Oh, wow. So our picks for Time Spiral, Time Twister, Narset? Come on, dude. Come on. That was a solid three picks right there. Daddy does need a Leovold. I'm going to take Inquisition. And I'm thinking Maelstrom Pulse might table? But without a Leovold, we have no real reason to go into green here. Ooh, Metamorph? That seems great. Uncle Leo! Actually, that's I wouldn't say it like that. That would be... You know, Uncle Leo wouldn't say his name like that. He would say, Jerry! Uncle Leo! Uh, it might be Vindicate here. I mean, I don't think it's either Siege Gang or Tassiger per se. And I think Vindicate's higher power level. So I'm going to take the Vindicate, see what happens. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm excited. Oh, Baleful Strix? Wow, this deck's actually looking real sweet right now. That's, that's really juice. Now all we need is like a fallen shinobi, right? Liliana? Eh, that seems fine.
I've been dealing... Oh, wow. Murder Shrider came back? That's kind of cool. Yawgmoth's will also coming back is kind of funny. I don't think we're storming here. I just don't want to storm. I really like how the art is almost symmetrical on these. I actually kind of like Brawl because we have Twister and Spiral. Thief of Sanity? Oh, this is a, this deck is like my favorite. I feel like I personally don't like the stress that Storm puts on me. You know, does that make sense? Like, it, it's a lot to like do. And I feel like it's all on me and I gotta be thinking. I just don't like the archetype. I just don't. I do storm sometimes. I just don't. I don't feel like storm lends itself to the games that I personally enjoy. And I've gone over this before, so it's not like some new, you know, philosophy that I'm espousing on you fine people. Do, 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 do. Oh, Scarab God? And a Misty. No Leo. No Uncle Leo. No power either, unfortunately. I bet Scarab God tables. I'm going to take this Misty. I mean, if we end up getting Scarab God or Mull Drifter back, I'm going to be pretty okay with it. But Misty's real good, especially if we're in uh, searching for a Leovold. Take Bughead. Good lord. You are my candy girl. But you can be bumped in. Demonic Tutor, huh? That's pretty good. That also can help us set up Narset. Yeah, definitely like a, a demo here. Also costs one mana with a Brawl? Come on. That's pretty good. Bughead, good. Bughead is good. But the thing about the cube is like people aren't looking for dirtily five mana mid-range creatures and I am so interesting I kind of like blood chief's thirst hmm I mean it's not the black cards I guess it's blood I'm also considering Sylvan carry added if we do want to go with the blue because then we also got maelstrom pulse Why not Shallow Grave? I mean, like, we have five creatures right now, none of which are Shallow Graveable. And I don't think it's... I just don't think it's very good. Whereas Blood Chief does kill Planeswalkers. Oh, Coalition Relic. And Golgari Signet. And Remand. Jeez. I kind of like Remand a lot, actually. Oh my god, I'm super excited to watch your Spider-Man playthrough. My son and I are going to watch it together. He absolutely loves Miles. He's currently grounded from TV till tomorrow, so I have to wait. I do warn you, I may curse at like frustrating parts. I don't think there's that many. Maybe like two parts where I got frustrated. And may have may have let out a curse, so I warn you ahead of time. But for generally, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's very family friendly. I think it's Relic. It's got to be Relic. Hero's Downfall, we already have Murderous Rider and Blood Chief's Thirst. Could be Dryad, but it is green. Cyclismo, that is a, a solid philosophy right there. I like it. Is Ulamog any good? We can discard Ulamog and reanimate. That's actually a thing. I'm going to take the Ulamog. I don't love Dark Slick Shores, but I'll take it because we don't have much fixing right now. I feel like I've seen lands significantly less this time. 
Mm, Garrick. I actually think Spell Pierce is pretty good. Like, there's a lot of things Spell Pierce just hits. Reanimate? Worm Coil Engine? Huh. <laughs> I think it's actually Worm Coil. We don't have a ton of win cons here. I don't think it's reanimate. Especially because we have time spiral and time twister. Oh, look, 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 look. And both of those are going to shuffle our graveyards back into our libraries. It's just Mind's Desire. I'm taking Mind's Desire. I'll take Trophy. Heartless Act? Yeah, that seems great. That's just a solid removal spell. Hero's Downfall. Alright, also playable. Massacre Worm? Also playable. I think we're just taking Bayou here. That's actually pretty sweet. We can get it with Misty. I'm still holding out hope for Leovold here, guys. I don't think Fires in the Cube... I mean, like, no. There's no way Fires in the Cube would be too busted. A, you're capped at two spells a turn, which means, like, you can't storm off with it. Like, you, you're, you're also locked into how many lands you have. So it's like, I mean, it's not like you can play an, like, I'll cast an Ulamog for free. Well, if you do, you already have 10 lands, so you just play it. Yeah, I don't think Fires of Invention. I, I actually don't even know if it's that, I don't even know if it's good enough to be, to be in cube, to be honest. Guys, where my where my Leo at? Uncle Leo, we got tendrils and minds of desire. It's unfortunate that we're not storming here. Might just be damnation. Is copter good? Not really. We have eight creatures. Oh, Grim Monolith. This pack is bananas. Jace, Grim, Force, Brazen, and Control Magic, all of which are nice. Jeez. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's Grim Monolith. Yeah, we have Ulamog, Mind Twist, and Worm Coil. Yeah, we're just taking Grim Monolith here. <sighs> yes. I would love Thieving Skydiver. I love Mox Diamond, but I have a hard time passing Fallen Shinobi. We also have Thief of Sanity and Baleful Strix. I, I'm just never going to pass. I mean, Fallen Shinobi is like one of my favorite cards in this cube, so I just don't foresee it happening. Null Priest of Oblivion is actually pretty sweet. It's also another menace creature that we can use with Fallen Shinobi. And we already have Metamorph, so I'm not super concerned about Phantasmal Image. I'm just going to take Null Priest here. 
Guys, I don't think we're hitting Leovold here, unfortunately. One of the things, yeah, one of the things to keep in mind about Null Priest is the menace is great. It, it definitely lets you get unblockable with uh, Fallen Shinobi. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, so we can either go Thirst or Days. I think it's actually Days here. I mean, in our deck, we already have Narset, Time Twister, and Time Spiral for, draw, for card draw. <gasps> Demir Signet? Wow. That's a nice little treat. <sighs> I'm pretty sure um, that's an 8th pick Oko, and I'm just going to Windmill Slam that dude. Charter Core is actually not bad. We can discard cards. We have Null Priest, and we have... What was the other one we had? Didn't we have another Reanimate spell? Oh, well. Wow, we need a lot of cuts here, which is kind of surprising. Tendrils, do, 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 not gonna play it. I mean, yeah, I definitely think we need Blood Chief's Thirst and Hero's Downfall and Murderous Rider. I think we can get rid of Hero's Downfall because Murderous Rider is just kind of an upgrade. Uh, I can board in Damnation when we need it. I would cut the Oko, Shinobi, and Baleful Strix. They all died in removal. Yeah, that's good. I think that's probably fine. We also do have Assassin's Trophy and Maelstrom Pulse on the sideboard. Yeah, I could see cutting days. Days isn't super exciting. I do like Blood Chief's Thirst because it's cheap. I also think Heartless Act is probably fine. Wow, Brazen Borrower. The Jace came back and the Brazen Borrower? Good gravy, dude. Even Botanical Sanctum, not bad if we're splashing Oko, dude. This is this pack is insane. I'm going to take Botanical because we... Oh, even Looter is good because we have... Just fallen, Phantasmal Image? We're the, are we the only blue drafters in this table? Holy smokes, dude. Do we have anything to get Ulamog out early? No, not not particularly. This is 27 cards. Jeez. I mean, I can see cutting Ulamog, but I also just like discarding it to Looter and then reanimating it with Liliana. I'm going to cut Phantasmal Image because we have Metamorph and I think Metamorph's a little better. I think Baral actually seems decent here, but I could just see cutting him. I mean, Demonic Tutor, Heartless Act, Chart, Twister, Swift End, and Time Spiral and Mind Twist. So like seven cards plus Blood Chief if we kick it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a blue-black deck. No Leovold, unfortunately. Colorless cards just like Grim... Why do you need colorless cards? I, that's, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Like, Grim Monolith will let you go from, from two mana to six mana. And, like, you get to cast Metamorph, Fallen Shinobi, Scarab God, Liliana, Time Spiral, Worm Coil, Mind Twist. Like, all these cards... 
have enough colorless that it's like not like even if you only take advantage of two of the the colorless man on Grimalov is still fine like Hmm. God, how do we sling three cuts? It's just like spell appears. Heartless act. Actually, I mean we can cut like Liliana Ulamog. I think these are probably fine cuts. Do we need both Twister and Spiral? I mean, I don't know. Probably. We also have Looter to discard them if we don't need them, so... I feel like it might be Heartless Act. Yeah, this seems good. I'm probably going to play one forest just so we can get it with uh Do we need a forest? We can just get by you with this. Yeah, I think Brawl is actually pretty medium here. I almost kind of like Liliana just as like a beater. Or the Heartless Act can go back. No, I don't want I don't want a second image. We already have Metamorph. I don't want two clones. I want to be able to rely on my own cards. They don't even want me to. Okay, so this is one, two, three green sources. Plus coalition relic is four. Six blue. Seven blue. Nine blue. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine. And then this only adds up to 29. It might just be one forest. We have two double black cards, two double blue cards. Another blue over here. I'm going to put one forest in. I think it's fine. I rarely go above five lands. Same. Oh, this seems pretty good. Jeez. Turn to Looter, Baleful Strix, or Grim Monolith, huh? I mean, we can go turn to Grim Monolith and a Coalition Relic, which is also pretty good.
Oh boy. Here we go. I'm going to help you guys out with the weather. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? She didn't she didn't tell me. Yeah, Faithless Looting and dropping two basics is very fascinating. Got it. I mean, we knew they were going to counter that, but that's fine. Wow, they've discarded four basic lands. Well, we're definitely going to pitch their hand. Okay. They have three cards. So we can just go Mind Twist here. Hmm. Well, that is a thing. The old noggin nurple. Well, they have no cards in hand. Well, that was not ideal. I tapped the wrong mana. What a dumb, stupid idiot. Um, Seems fine. Oh wow, their whole graveyard goes away now? That seems fine because like that's okay. Well, that is frightening. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Make that an elk. What if I could, my dude? Oh, Scarab God. Uh, let's go blue again. We are low on blue. One, two, three, four, five.
Uh, his ultimate is you get an emblem with whenever an artifact is put into your graveyard, return the card to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. So you're, you're basically your, your artifacts never die. Okay, we just won the game. Bring in Maelstrom and Assassin's Trophy because I don't want to have to deal with uh, monsters. Take out Null Priest. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do it. 21 lands does seem like a lot. That's, I, I, I don't know where that came from, though. We got Snap and Looter. Definitely hitting that looter. And you got a fallen shinobi in hand. So next time we're going to play Thief. <clears throat> Maybe we want our own fallen shinobi. Oko's good, too. I think Oko can probably win us the game, but I already have a plan for next turn. So we're going to set it up like this. Especially because we know what they have, so they have to draw, like... Specific things. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty okay. That's pretty Oko. Man. All right. Well, shuffle your life. Shuffle it. Shuffle it in. Man, faithless looting just to shuffle it back in seems pretty rough. What do I do with 140,000 channel points? You can trade them in for Shroot Bucks or Stanley Nichols. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Let's grab an island. 
Grimtastic. We did see Miscalculate, right? So... So I'm tempted to activate Grim Monolith. I think we're just gonna make a food token here. I don't wanna walk into a miscalculate. There's really no need to. Especially when they have six mana and they haven't done anything with five cards in hand. I just don't have to do anything here is the really the thing. I don't actually understand how Oko's a real card. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So, like, now we have Wrath Protection, I guess. This does not do anything. What the fuck happened? Wheel of Fortune into like literal play only Rakdos Signet? Are they playing like three color deck with like zero fixing whatsoever? And like, I don't understand what happened. That was a very weird match. They wanted to play Bolas, but they were stuck on one black. There's no Bolas in this cube, my dude. Keep this hand. <laughs> Corsair of Crew Fix. Green Sun for Rafelos. Seems good. Way to kill Rafelos? No. No way to kill Rafelos. Well, fingers crossed they don't kill us here. Primeval Titan. Do 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 do. Mm, yep, that sucks. Coolsville, Daddy O.
Wasteland, Burden Catacomb, Beast Within. I would have probably played Wasteland last turn, killed my land, tapped 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, played Fraley's. Bringing the damnation again. Seems good. Mono planeswalkers. Cool. I've drawn two actual spells. Sounds good. See, this is where the deck where you want all the removal spells. Heartless Act, Heroes of Downfall, Damnation, Massacre Worm. Okay, take out Time Spiral, Twister. Eh, I kind of like these, though. Maybe we'll leave them in and see what else we can cut instead. Null Priest, not as good here. Spell Pierce still counters Planeswalkers. Cut Liliana. I mean, we saw Raffellos, Findhorn Elves, and that was probably it as far as creatures. So I don't think Phantasm Image is really going to be great. I'm actually tempted to take the Metamorph out, to be quite honest. I don't think it's that great here. I definitely don't see Tendrils picking off any Elves whatsoever. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this should be fine. Oof. I mean, I would bring in Pulse, but we already have Heroes Downfall and Natural and uh, Murderous Rider, and I really don't think we need another. <sighs> I want to mulligan this hand. This hand's okay. Keep. Fast bond with two lands in hand. Yeah, let's hit that Rafellos. I mean, if you want to nature's claim my Demir signet, you're more than welcome. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of fast bond. Get rid of windswept teeth. Sure. Uh, draw one drop. Seems good. I mean, they have nothing else to do, so they're probably going to nature's claim here. That's fine. I mean, as far as this deck is concerned, like, Pulse is just a harder to cast uh, Heroes Downfall slash Swift End. And I don't think I need three of those effects. So I don't want to mind Twist here because this is a five drop and this is a f seven drop. 
So they're not going to be able to play either of these. So if they go land spell, they still only have two and we can still get rid of both of them. So that's really what we're looking for here. Yep, there's the land. Here comes a Garrick. Because it's always Garrick. That is not a Garrick. Well, we know Avengers in their hand. That's really shitty. <laughs> sure. Still get the last two cards, I guess. So that's something. Yep. Had to be, had to literally be land natural order when they had gilded gear. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Well, we're not getting there anytime soon. Um, boy. God, I really don't even want to kill Woodfall Primus here. They just kill a more land. I don't think we have to yet. We can take seven. This is ridiculous. Probably going to kill it now. Yep, don't love it. <sighs> Come on, Misty Rainforest or Bayou. Actually, damn, no, we, we can't even damnation here. We need a land. So you can go to five. You make this guy a two, three, four. Yeah, actually. Should be a two, two. Buys us two turns. Well, it buys us a turn, I guess. But we do have damnation mana now. Yeah, I'm like, just send everybody to Oko. What are you doing here? Sure. You got it. Alright, that's probably the end of the game. They play three Planeswalkers and a Natural order. This is why I'm just, I think Woodfall Primus is one of the best targets because it's just so hard to deal with in every situation. God, damnation off the top would be unreal. Womp. Cool. Fun set of games. Alright.
I'm gonna keep this. We're on the play, and I think Mind Twist is powerful enough to kind of carry us here. Plus, we have a Time Spiral, and if we can find a Narset, it's actually pretty sweet. If that was the Green New Deal, I'm skeptical. <laughs> uh, see, that's funny. I once had a game where I did a turn one fast spawn into Channel into Emrakul, took my extra turn, hit my opponent for 15, they played a Mountain Bolt and killed me. Good lord. Party all the time. Party all the time. Boom, 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 boom. See if you're gonna play something better than a scavenging ooze. Two, three, four. I am dead inside. Two games in a row. Hmm. That's actually not nearly as bad. So we can kill this guy and then get rid of their whole hand and then they have three stupid... That's actually really good. This is a three for one. Not really. But kind of. A little bit, you know? Oh man, Cradle would have been so good. Why didn't you play Cradle, dude? Oh my god, this would be a different game if you had a Cradle in play. <laughs> I think we just go get Narcissus. <laughs> Narset also shuts off their portal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are bullying me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it gets worse. Guys, there was an Oko. I'll say homage, sure. Michael B likes to party all the time. 
We're going to have to discard these anyway to spiral, and we have a full grip, so I don't think it's necessary to... Gonna keep getting in there with my murderous rider. Oh my god, Tim, that pizza rat. <laughs> they gotta say carnage, right? Why aren't they saying carnage? Just take a gamble, I might hit carnage just out of, out of the lulls. <laughs> oh boy oh grim monolith huh you know carnage loses all permanents right not just creatures it also gets rid of narset oko and my course of portal Wow, that's so much stronger. You just let us creatures? You maniac. Um... <laughs> Actually, we're not doing that. I'm just going to cast this with Kicker on the stupid portal, right? One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to attack again. It never happens, so what does it matter? It's a good point, I guess. Do you know channel and your one card in hand is something big enough to kill us? Or are you just memeing and you're going to kill yourself? Wow. Well, that's a thing, all right. Well, I guess we have to time spiral here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really don't care about Coalition Relic that much. One, two, three, four, seven. I mean, we have to spiral for an answer, so. Feels bad. This is fucking unreal. <laughs> oh, man. So, we're dead. That's cool. Guess drawing exactly chain chain channel Ulamog is is pretty fucking good.
There's like not even many good answers for it. Like Hero's Downfall doesn't kill him, Damnation doesn't kill him, Massacre him. Like none of these cards actually do a goddamn thing against the Lamog. It's really frustrating. Nobody runs worse than Vintage Cube, and I'll stand by that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. Cool. Sure. Like, they literally have to drop back-to-back -back channel along. Like, they just didn't have that many turns. It's kind of fucking unbelievable. Sure. <laughs> Deal. Actually, I probably just want the Baleful Strix here so we can draw lands. Yeah, that's better. Because next time we get Thief of Sanity, which should be actually pretty decent. And then next turn we'll probably draw Fallen Shinobi. That'd be good. Party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Grass is for three. Well, that answers that. Can't Heartless act that guy. And we did draw Fallen Shinobi. Wow. I'll tr let's trade. Oomp, be a dum bum, be a dum bum. Crater hoof behemoth. Sure, I'll play a free crater hoof. <laughs> oh, what up, Danny? <laughs> oh man. So you got one, two, three, four, five. You got seven mana now. Oh, uh, we cannot play the land. We played. We played a bayou. We need to play the fourth land. Fourth land to play Fallen Shinobi, so we can't play a free land off of. Oh boy, this this old chestnut again. Well, they did play forest again, so we know they're. Yep, six mana. Seems good. Nope. All right. Seems good. Not for us, per se, but, you know, just in general. <sighs> 
So I guess what we're hoping for is damnation. Or Narset into Time Twister. That's good too, right? Seven mana. Oh, I was just going to hard cast a for a second game in a row. Kozilek, huh? Okay. Seems good. Well, now I have no problem time twistering because you're not going to net any cards here. Alright. Murderous Rider. Huh. The problem is we have to keep Damnation mana up. Could Murderous Rider, Crassus, Thief of Sanity... Doesn't do anything, though. Fucking games have been terrible. Literally wish I had one more one more mana source actually lets us play Time Spiral. Yep. So I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. I got 25% chance of drawing a damnation. 7 out of 20, 29. I mean, they're just gonna cast the Ulamog because I we can't draw damnation, but they hundred percent drew their Ulamog. So let's move it over here so we can see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's so nine, ten. There's nine. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blue, blue, black, black. So we can actually sack a bunch of things here and probably be okay. Thirteen mana. Yeah, cool. Must be fucking nice. Thank you guys for watching again. Slam those buttons. See you next time.